Hello, Kenny from Malbot here, and I really quickly just wanted to tell you about a uh, piece of software that I found, um, and I needed to give it a shout out because it saved my proverbial bacon. Um, I was filming my um, interview with Tim Ives, ASC, the DP of Halston and uh, Stranger Things, did a couple episodes of House of Cards, pilot for Mr. Robot, great career so far. Um, anyway, I was filming it. And um, I use my camera here uh, to both record my video and audio. Um, and it's also the webcam, which is fun. Um, but halfway through the interview, the camera died, which is incredibly for professional. And, um, you know, whatever, swapped the battery, kept going. But when I got into the edit, I found that the first clip up until when the camera died would play in Media Player Classic, but it wouldn't load into Resolve or um, Premiere or anything like that uh, because apparently if the camera turns off it doesn't like end the clip I mean it did end the clip everything was fine but um, it damages the MXF file uh, MXF is widely used has been forever but um, needs the clip to end for all the magic metadata to populate. Um, it doesn't happen at the beginning, and I guess these cameras, um, or cameras in general, I don't know, uh, don't have like a, oh no, the battery is about to die, quick save everything function. So, I'm looking online for like MXF repair, and people want tons of cash to do it, and it's all the software that looks like it's coming from sketchy websites, and it, it was I was freaking out. Um, you know, I tried to rename the file like .mp4 instead just to see what would happen, no sale. Um, and then I stumbled upon uh, Paul Pacifico's shutter encoder. Um, basically, from what I can tell, it's a front end for FFmpeg, uh, which is a encoding software similar to Handbrake. By the way, Handbrake didn't work for this. Um, I tried. Um, FFmpeg is, is a command line encoder. So it's not very intuitive, not very user friendly. I didn't have the time to figure that out. I've used front ends for it before. Couldn't remember which one I had used back in the day. Um, so I found shutter encoder and, and Paul's website did not look sketchy. It was just basically like, I'm an editor and I made this cause I needed it. And I was like, perfect. That's the kind of guy I want to go to. And it's free. Uh, he'll take a $5 donation if you want to give it to him. I certainly did. Um, Shutter encoder uh, can do a whole bunch of stuff. It can convert files from anything to anything else. Again, it's a front end for FFmpeg. Um, you can even download YouTube videos with it if you really want. Uh, you know, extract audio, add audio, um, rewrap things, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's what I did. I uh, first I tried to rewrap the broken MXF as MXF, and it would load into Premiere, but it was stuttery, so I rewrapped it as an MOV see what would happen and it worked beautifully so just wanted to get that information out there because i'm sure many of you have run into these problems before and didn't have a perfect solution off the top of your head shutter encoder just rewrap your broken mxf file as an mov um and it didn't it did it like instantly you know it's it, did, it wasn't encoding anything um but it's a great piece of software to have on hand like i said for um maybe just laying in an mp3 into a video or rewrapping or re-encoding things or downloading from youtube um, as a video or as an mp3 um, all kinds of stuff shutter encoder can do but that's what i used it for was fixing a broken mxf file when my camera died um, and you know you try to keep an eye on the battery in that exact moment, I certain I was just looking at it and I was like, oh no, no, 14.4 volts were good. Um, shout out once again to Paul Pacifico. Uh, give Shutter Encoder a download. Uh, maybe give him some money if uh, it helped you out. He has no idea I made this video either, so he didn't. And he not only did he not pay me to say this, I fucking paid him. So <laughs> anyway, that's it for me. Um, hope you're having a great day. Talk to you later. Also, check out the podcast with Tim Ives. It's excellent. It's excellent. Frame and reference on all your favorite apps and on this channel. Okay, now I'm going to go.